what's up guys and welcome back to control so I've decided that I'm gonna do this uh, instead of doing the main mission I'm gonna go ahead and do this one right here locate dr. Underhill oh, where in the fuck do I go You bitch. Damn. Oh, there's a another thing here. Wait a second. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Is there a specific order in this? What you got in here for me? Holy shit, there's a lot in here for me. What the shit? What the fuck? Okay. Uh. Uh, okay. Lucky item manifest. Bronze koi fish, China. Attracts abundance and wealth. Feng, feng Shui. Horseshoe, Ireland. Wards off evil. Orientation important. Heals up allows luck to be kept. Heals down, luck flows outward. <clears throat> Minico. Manico Nico, Japan. Beckoning cat uses, used in shops. Paw held up to beckon customers. Creating luck for the business owner. Four leaf clover, Ireland. Shamrock, rare plant variation. Connects to druidic, druidic healing rituals. Elephant, China. Protection, good luck, wisdom, feng shui. Light bulb, various. Documented gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on. Note, effects of items to be tested. Consider investigating the orientation of horseshoe. Also, consider positioning feng shui objects. Proximity of luck items may influence luck readings. For more information on ritual use, lucky actions to perform and avoid in re relevance to OCD behavior, see file blank. Okay, wait a second. So the horseshoe has to be facing what? Horseshoe has to be facing heels up. And then all lights have to be on. from this side. Heels up. Two feet. The fish has to be two feet away. Alright, let's try this. <laughs> what the fuck? Fish needs to be no, no. Fish needs to be in range. No, no, not there. Not that. Oh, that was an explodey. Oops. Where the fuck did the? Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. 
issues inside. Ring. Lights are... Lights are on. Yep, lights are on. sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find and contain. Ooh, it is a lot of stuff here. Prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols and angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound. Unbelievable. Unknowable. Something worse. Altered items. We found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They are all powerful. Dangerous. They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. Ooh, spooky. Sector Panopticon. Maximum security prison. Dangerous. Fuck you, chairs. Are oh, these mold fuckers back here? Nope. Bloody assholes. Another shooting assholes. The fuck is that? Motherfucker over here looking like Death Stranding. Holy shit, that was close. area. Reminder, this week any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Oh, okay. Pink. Pink, guys. Pink or red or whatever the fuck he said. That rhymed and I didn't mean it to, but you know. 
It just, it rolls, I roll like that, man. Alright, guys. So, I know where I fucked up. Cat should be waving. Horseshoe facing down. Or, uh, horseshoe heels up. Neither of these should be, uh, moving. The Newton things. The tumble things. Neither of these should be moving. The elephant doesn't move at all. All four lights are on. And the clover is in this pot. Alright, let me let's check and see. It's on seven. Alright, let's do this shit. Yeah! Damn! They killed me quick! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you! You didn't work at all, Luck! Asshole! Oh, shit! You fucking bitch ass over here. I don't think you're gonna run away from me, fucker. Oh, I can grab the missiles! Hell yeah! Oh, hack it back through, madam. Fuck you. Back out, fucker. Down here? Okay, this isn't going to be... Fucking spooky at all. Ah. Oh, this isn't ominous as fuck at all. that do? What did that do for me? Okay, I don't guess I won't find out. Hello? <laughs> the 
This is gross. And Excuse me. Are you lost? Are you? Threshold utility uh, counter essay. Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Blank Blank contains some glaring omissions that I feel must shine a light on. I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mold is actively hostile. To use his words, we cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the, create, if the blank creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, their structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease where we've attempted to introduce could be deri derived into blank. Yes, admittedly, this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Old threshold. Microscopic. So you want to know how my mold research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms similar to appearance to blank construct the architecture of of a mold of the mold. I do not understand if these blank are the original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the most prolific and durable organism I have ever seen. I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source as mold-1. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological interpretives as a way to spread. It is truly an ingenious little thing. A full report will be ready soon. Keep your slacks on. Underhill. What's going on down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Sailing back into life at the, F at the old FBC. Also, I also wanted to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise, incredibly bright, extremely intuitive, but I want to hear what you thought of her. I think you two could be a very good on a project together. Could be a very good, good job to me. Could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You always were a woman of focus. I always admire that about you. Talk soon, Casper. Hello. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay, so what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need. Here, you'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jessie, by the way. I'm sure it is. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. 
The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size. Simply staggering! So it grows okay. fast. If you're not going to listen, then why did you ask? So the mold is coming in from... where? We don't have a name for the threshold dimension. The origin point has been identified, but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter. Even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! It's weird how excited she is, right? Yeah, just a little bit. What do you know about the Hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these, these superfluous matters. Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. I need to get going. Okay. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. Back to it then. Okay, I guess we're going to find these mold spores. Ugh, it smells so sweet down here. Yeah. So I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold tastes. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how the mold tastes. They literally just said that uh, that was a bad idea. Oh, they are a little bit stronger. What I expected. Oh, is it that? Ow. Fuck.
have a dress or a vending machine. Damn. Shit. me for this. One of Underhill samples. Building shifts occur at random and without warning, but with the Bureau's cutting-edge technology, we can stabilize the oldest house. Safe employees are happy employees. Certain rituals allow agents to navigate the oldest house as well. But accidents do happen. <laughs> Trapping agents inside the walls. I heard you got stuck in your room for three days, Topher. Too bad you didn't have your book with you. Or any food. And remember, kids, when you feel the floor deviate, it's already much too late.
Found one. My mic was muted. Dog was barking. Case files. Uh, item to be stored in black rock panels, paneled cell. Keep away from lab animals when not in use. A simple wicker basket with cloth lining. No food items inside. The items produces the item produces a hypnotic effect that solely affects non-human animals, forcing them to congregate passively around the object. Animals. From every genus and species that have thus far been tested are susceptible. Single cell organisms do not appear to re react to the effect. 697. Item was taken to a forest as update for testing. Results of the test provided contradicting data as some of the attracted animals exhibited hyperaggressive behavior. The exercise unfortunately resulted in blank blank. Further testing should be restricted to more low-risk animal species with medical staff on standby. Well, damn. Oh. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, you got a friend. Okay, there was nothing in here. I was pretty sure there was going to be something in here. I guess that's the lever rail with the, 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 the no go, no go ness. Shit, hello. Why are there suddenly so many of you? What the fuck? Why were there suddenly so many of you? Oh, hello. This looks like a good one. Shit. That's all five samples. I should get these back to Underhill. Alright, let's fast travel the fuck out of here. Board countermeasures. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Areas under quarantine. You look like a woman with mood for me. I am. I found all five. But I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold, or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold, or fungus, because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know. Except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. <laughs> Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless. Yes, if you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. Ooh. Now leave me to it. I need to get going. 
Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. Go back to Umbrella Town. Okay, wait. Okay, so. Okay, so just. Uh, okay, what I want to do now is see if I can't go down into the pink hole. Oh, wait, no. She's got to make it first. Duh. -huh. I knew that. I knew that. Okay. I guess we're going to the to the spooky place. Panepticon. Medical wing security. Alright. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck you. Let's take this control point. I'm in control now. I have exercised the demon. Stare at me while I dream. That's not creepy at all. Bitch! Have a drink, fucker. I love it when there's four of them. Ha! Get fucking thrown, bitch. Yeah. That's not the doorway. Alright, let me go down here and get some of this fucking hell. Jesus. Oh, come on. Really? Where are you at? Up oh, table, get the fuck off. That's level five. Ooh, what's in here? AWE rising frequency. For some time now, there has been a steady increase in the annual number of AWEs that the Bureau responds to. Between 2010 and 2015, we responded to blank AWEs. For comparison, note that we only responded to blank between 1995 and 2005. This is this rise a result of blank improvement in our detection procedures or perhaps simply coincidence? We cannot say for sure, which is why this proposal for an AWE task force to be created within the hierarchy of the investigation sector has been compiled. We need to spend more time examining the, what causes AWEs rather than just contaminating them. Or containing them. Contaminating. What? the fuck is that? Someone needs help over there. Sounds like they're going down. Yeah. 
use the false Luke. Where were they at? Have a couch! Oh, I should have said have a seat. That would have been cooler. Oh well. Okay. Oh, fuck off, really? Guess is a cross. Medical wing. Guess I go through the medical wing to get to the panopticon, huh? Medical wing. Oh, hello. How you feel to have your friends run at you, fucker? Fuck you. Fucking assholes. Being ominous is not accept is not welcomed. Fuck off. It's like zombies, what the fuck? Where did that fucking come from?
What the fuck? Have these... Uh, have there been breakable walls everywhere? What the shit? Since when? Oh, this place looks safe. No, it's research. Containment procedure. No unique procedures required. However, can contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. The item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand painted, spins freely on its axis. While the containments, continents, and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous blank and other geographic conditions that did, do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tan Relio. There are no signatures left by its marker, or maker marker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in blank handlers. Oh, that sucks. All right, calling it now. Alright, let's watch this in the multimedia. Right, it's on the whole screen. Yeah. August 4th, 1964. We discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own. Seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints, and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable. Shifting. Note. For more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. Oh, that's why the... The Federal Bureau of Control was... It looks like it's filmed on a... Uh, this was super always eight. an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. <laughs> that was weird. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Oh, shit. Found him. Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Oh, shit. Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. I'm not even gonna lie. That actually fucking got me. Holy shit. One more again. Something in there. Is 
Is there anything else in here I gotta fix? No? I, I guess I'll ring the door, I'll ring the bell again? Oh. Okay. I like that every time we come in here, there's like a different uh, scenario going on. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, or things as hard for him as they were for me. Right. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Archives. Fucking Benjamin Franklin here. Thermos. The oh dear, oh dear diner coffee thermos. Wait! Is this another Alan Wake? Oh my god, it is! No unique procedures required. Alter status is suspected but unverified. A blue coffee thermos with a white plastic cap and a logo of the oh dear diner <coughs> located in Bright Falls, Washington. The cap doubles as a mug. The item responds to formula. I-16, yet no discernible altered effect has been discovered. Other than keeping liquids warm for surprisingly long periods of time. It's also no worth noting that the coffee from the thermos is always refreshing and strong, no matter how its quality before being poured into the item. Background. The thermos was discovered in the sh on the shore of Cauldron Lake, outside the town of Bright Falls. Both are Known sites of a recurring AWE. See Bright Falls. <laughs> well, wow, that's cool. Oh, there it is. Then drop, name drop. According to witness statements, Alan Wake, CE Prime Candidate Program entry for further information, who sent, who went missing shortly before the discovery of the thermos, had been seen blank collecting similar thermoses from an, for an blank purpose. What the fuck, dude? That's cool. I love when games do shit like that, man. All right, let's talk to the weird guy who linked oh, himself. Hello. hello, Abraham Lincoln. How are you? Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered items. I don't items, have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> Wait, can I talk to you? Is the TV back in its box yet? No rush or anything, it's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Do you like working at the FBC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. No, I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. <laughs> uh, I, I guess it's a bit of both. 
It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? Flipping the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. <laughs> and how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. Knife rain? Nice <laughs> metaphor. Uh... Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no smoking policy? <laughs> it does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent, because my uncle knew a guy. From there I got put on a desk, until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point I got bumped up to management. Put in a steady eight hours a day for another ten years, and voila! Supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. Alright. Have fun. I'm gonna go. Later, I'm gonna go probably die a lot. You have fun. Like always. The Panopticon. Everyone's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Have we upgraded anything yet? Constructs charge. Yeah. Let's see what it does. Uh, we'll go with grip and then charge. Oh, I have a level four. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I like this gun. I like that gun a lot. Let's test these bad boys out. Oh, those are beautiful. Oh, fuck you. Oh, this gun, this gun is badass, bro. Okay. Oh, it's the, is that the, is that a purse or is that the wicker basket that I read about? Yeah, it's that one. That's pretty cool. A fucking standing fan? Ooh, a hammer. Pretty cool, man. Going down. Uh, going up. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me anything. Oh, there's a motherfucker. 
Um, I'm kind of in the elevator right now. Can you hold on, please? Oh, hold on. Hold on, I'll fight you in a second. There's nothing in there. I'll come back, I promise. Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Uh. Okay, I need to protect my dude here. Alright, I gotta figure out what to do. Is this the agent? Okay. So after Dylan has been found. Oh, okay, I have to do it after he's been found? Okay. Sorry, buddy. I'll have to I'll have to do that later. I'm sorry. Hey. Nothing in there. Let him have it! You belong to me, asshole! Hello. the force, Luke. I love that fucking gun. This gun is so good. Oh, bye. We'll deal with... Never mind, we'll deal with that now. The object of power. I need to cleanse it. There's no Dana, only Zulu. Oh, okay, bye! Ah, oh, shit. Cleanse the Benikoff TV. 
What the fuck, bro? Oh, so we're just gonna follow this wackadoo bullshit off into the whatever void this is. Oh, good. Good. This is what I had hoped I'd see. Now let's take care of this shit now. Damn, I should have kept shooting them. Bitch, I can do that too, fucker. Ooh. Oh, damn, he does a lot of dablish. How long it took me to fucking get back here. It is so difficult for absolutely no reason. Ow. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck this gun. This gun's a piece of shit. Osla Tanker, fucking A. You know what, we'll, we'll come back for this. Fuck! Bro, I'm never gonna beat this. Holy shit, this is difficult.
shit. Fucking damn it. Fuck you! Oh my god, you're at li like literally a sliver of health. Come on. Fuck you, asshole! Fuck you! Alright, let's read the fucking thing. Cause fuck you. Alright, what was it? That's sexual. That bullshit. Astral plane. Dr. Darling insisted that certain objects of power share a direct. Oh no, this is. No. I don't fucking remember which one it was. Uh. Oh well. Okay. The TV. Another object of power going nuts. Here we go again. Use the TV babysitter. Levitate superhero over the obstacle. What? This is how I get to fly? Oh, that's cool! that button. I still got fall damage. Okay, fuck that, it's time to go. Okay, bye, bitch. New slash APB. The his static attempts of broadcast must survive. Okay. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Can I though? Like, what the fuck was that shit? 
What? Why is it still all weird? Power of the force compels you, Luke. The power of the force compels you, Luke. Get fucked. Floaty bitches pop up here. Okay, good. Oh, because I'm on the fucking fire break floor. I'm on floor one. I need to go up to floor four so he can let me on to floor five. I need to go up. I'm a doof! No. Contain no unique containment procedures required while bound. The CRT television built by Benikoff and Sons Electro Electrics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observable altitude of blank. When found, the object allows peri-utilitarians, oh, when bound, to harness the effect for their own use. The object is currently bound by blank. The object was first discovered in a local news story on a local news story in a local news story from Blank, Kansas. A figure had been seen blank over buildings. The bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered that a man named Blank had bound himself to the object. Mr. Blank was detained. P60. How the fuck do I get up there though? Oh, I'm stupid. That's how. Yeah, look at me go. Hey, it's the swan boat. Huh. Wait. Okay, now I can do anything there. What is this? It's the water jug. Or the water uh, dispenser. Is that a crowbar? Is that a fucking Half-Life reference? Yeah. I'm so close. I swear if you lock, don't you dare lock. No. Okay. Hold on. Okay, no, fuck it. We're going in. Are you there, Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, oh, listen. Fuck. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. 
He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Next episode is going to be fucking sick, bro. Oh, wait, there's a... Oh, there wasn't... Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. I have exercised the demons!